Hey everyone, I'm the small engine mechanic, and today we'll be replacing a tire using the Harbor Freight Tire Changing Stand. Our first step is to remove the valve stem core to release the air inside. Next, we need to break the bead on both sides of the rim. Using the extension handle will make this process much easier. Sometimes you need to work to loosen it up. Once the bead is loosened, you can slide the rim and tire onto the stand, and insert the lever through one of the rim lug holes. Once the rim is in place, you'll need to add the four-way hold down and the tightening box. Make sure to tighten the tightening bar hand tight. The extension bar end is smaller, allowing you to hook it onto the tire between the rim and spin the tire off. Sometimes, the bottom bead will reseat, and you'll need to break it loose again. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of more tips and how-to videos. The extension bar can also be used on the inner bead to remove the tire. And now, the old tire is off. Next, we must remove the old valve stem. 
using a razor blade and cutting on the inside makes it quick and easy. Now, we'll install a new valve stem. A valve stem installation tool makes this process much easier. Now, we'll remount the rim and get a new tire to put on. Adding soapy water will ease the process. Most of the time, you can simply push the tire back onto the rim, and, using a vice grip clamp, spin the tire the rest of the way back on. Now, we can remove the tire, and reinflate it through the new valve stem. When adding air to the tire, do it in short bursts. If the bead seats too quickly, it can cause the tire to bounce up and strike you. The popping sound indicates the bead seating. Never exceed the tire's rated pressure when inflating. Once inflated to the operating pressure, the tire is good to go.